Hello, hello, hello everyone and good morning to you all. It is the 15th of September 2023 and yes, it uh, right now it is a cloudy day, breezy, mm, I don't know what the temperature is going to go to. Right now it's about 17 degrees in the house. I don't know what it's like outside, but yeah. So, mm. all righty. Um, this is going to be a review bit video. And this is from Outdoor Tide. Now, it's the first time I've done um, a review video for them. And I am so very thrilled that they chose to work with me. This is this is wonderful. It's always nice to have uh, a new um, store to deal with and to offer different products to you all. All right, let's start out with um, one. Okay. There's there's two products in this, and the one is. This one, it's Cats in a Basket. Isn't that cute? That looks so cute. That looks so cute. Beautiful colors and just, just gorgeous. So the pattern here is oops, large enough so you can see. Um, there's 44 colors in here, but all of this here, this number 44, you don't have to stitch that because it's just all white in the background. There is a little bit of bleed over here. I don't know if you can see it here. Not that it matters, but I'm just saying there's a little bit of bleed over here. Um... But yeah, it's pretty good. And this is a 40 by 50, so it will be a, a 30 by 40, give or take. Your instructions are right here. So if you're new to stitching, please make sure that you review that. So, alrighty, let us take a look at this design. I'm not sure if this, this is a no-name product. Okay. Uh, it looks very well printed. The edges are surged. Yes, 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 yes. The edges are surged. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. Even though here it goes, um, the surging here goes a little bit here where the numbers are. As long as you can see these numbers, you can look at the pattern there, the, the chart, to see what it is. So I think this is pretty good. Like I said, don't be stitching all this white. No. No. But it looks, this is, this looks good. This probably wouldn't take you very long to do this. I am so happy to see that the printing is very bold and bright. And that uh, you got to watch a little bit here because there's pink and there's orange. I don't know here if you can see it and red. And they're all in this area here so it kind of you don't know if you've got the orange or the pink the red's a little bit brighter same here yeah, I think that's a pink one there and these are orange here so yeah that you have to be a little bit worry about once it gets over here you're doing good yeah so just a few spots like that but that's okay that's okay 
I'm just pleased that the edges are surged. Very good. Very, very good. That's a big plus for me. Okay, so what have we got here? We have got a small tool kit with a leopard on it. I don't know what difference that makes. There are five needles. This is an 11 count, by the way. You've got a needle threader, poof ball. You've got a finger protector. That's always good. And let's take a look at these colors. Let's take a look at these colors. I'm pleased to say that they put in actual white B5200, which is good. However, you don't need it. You, you just don't need it on this because the fabric, once you wash it, the fabric will, you know, you don't need to stitch the background. So, alrighty. So let's take a look at these these ones here. Yeah, this is, I like how they have it on at least these cards. Okay. So look at those colors. Are they not gorgeous? Look at this, uh, like the pink and light blue and lavender and yellow. I mean, like, that's beautiful. So the colors are very well defined. And since this is an 11 count, you use three threads. You can use two if you like, if you find it, that it's, um, it's too, there's too much in it. But I, um, I've only come across one design that I would have to use two threads for. So, and those are the other colors. That's the white there, but there's very little white that you would have to stitch. So, beautiful, beautiful colors. I am so thrilled with this. This is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. I just... I wasn't sure, but yeah, we'll see what it's really like once it's stitched up. So, yeah, okay. So, sorry, excuse me. Now, this one was, Cats in a Basket, was $7.55 US. This was um, sent out on the 2nd of September, um, and I received it yesterday, so on the 13th. 10 days. 10 days. That's all it took. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so let me take a look now. There is a discount code here for um, Outdoor Tide. In just a minute. I just want to make sure that I've got it right here. I believe that it is... Just a minute here. Yes, it is Interlac. I-N-T-E-R-L-A-K 5 and O-F-F -F in capital letters. Okay. So, Interlac 5, O-F-F -F in capital letters for an extra 5% off. Now, this one here, just a minute here, okay. This one here was $7.41 US. And I fell in love with this, these seasons. So I have winter, and this is a spring brand. I don't, I haven't had the pleasure of getting too many of these spring brands. I like that they come in this pouch. 
so you can use this again. Like, that's perfect. I think that's great. And it's made of a heavier plastic. So, this one here, it's called Winter Brings the Snow. Now, I know some of you have gotten the whole set. And I'm going to look forward to getting the whole set. But here you have ice skaters. Here you have, there's two foxes, ice skates, hot cocoa, mittens. Here's a man with a horse going for a ride, a snowman, a bird, a birdhouse, some trees. And so it says, winter brings the snow, makes our feet and uh, fingers glow. So then you've got some um, fur branches or something and a cottage with a deer and mountains and trees. And then you've got some snow down here as there is snow right here and snow up here. So there's a potential to do a lot on this sampler. Yeah. And it's the um, pattern, the chart is so clear. It is so clear. So again, I would be using here the A12 thread um i'm not sure if i would do that there but i would use um yeah i'm not sure i might put beads down here at the bottom yeah and beads at the top and yeah just see you know um, to get a little bit of an A12 thread here for the lamp I don't know if I would use it here but I probably would because this is snow right so yeah so much potential. So much potential. <laughs> but very clear, and I'm very, very pleased with it. Nice big picture. There are 14 colors. So, and then you've got your instruction manual. Again, please look it over if you're new to stitching. I know that's probably glaring. So, now, let's take a look. Okay, first of all, we'll take a look at the colors. There are two needles. Oh, this is an 11 count. I thought it was a 14. Okay, but look at those colors. I would switch up the white here for the 812. I have to get more of the white H12. But yeah, there are two needles here that are for an 11 count. Um, tells you when it was printed. I'm, I'm assuming that's what that is. When it was printed. Okay. So let us take a look here. The thing I like about this, and I just kind of glanced at it, is that this is kind of on a brown or coffee, anti-tea dyed, whatever. And I wish more of these companies would go for this. You know, print on... If you, if you got something that goes on black, surely to goodness, you can do colors that are, you can do all these kind of colors, right? And just print it on black. It would make it so much nicer. 
So I am thrilled this is surged all around. You can easily see the key here. It's bright. There's a little bit of back stitching, two colors. <coughs> but everything is clear. And the, the numbers are marked here very clear. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. So the finished is 121 wide by 182 high. I like this and I just love it that it's this color of fabric. Like that's a real kind of antique looking fabric. So that's not bad, you know, that that is how your design will be. I like it. Yes. I'm looking forward to eventually getting the rest of them. Because you know I like to do seasonals. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely. The fabric is softer. Like it's not that really stiff. So I am... Oh my goodness, I love this. See, I would do maybe here. I would do beads. Or metallic. You can use metallic too. You know, these foxes are cute. Kids here on uh, sleds. Yeah, there's so much you can do with it. Like here, you can do these here in beads. And this light here can be in a 12. There's so much potential with this. So much. Absolutely. Absolutely. So thank you, Outdoor Tide, for sponsoring this video. It, I am so happy to work with you on this collaboration. I just, I look forward to working with you again. And I think this is just, I think this is going to be a match made in heaven. That's what I think. So please, if you have not gone to OutdoorTide.com yet, please go and check them out. I've got all the information down below in the description box. So, yeah. So please give them a look-see. And remember my discount code, which is INTERLAC, I-N-T-E-R-L-A-K-5. O-F-F -F in capital letters, okay? Very easy, I think, to remember. So, alrighty. Now on to something different. If you don't want to watch from here on in, that's fine. I'm going to reveal what the challenge is for October. Yes, and then I'm going to go into a little bit about what happened yesterday at my doctor's appointment. So, let us get this out of the way. So I was really thinking about what could I do for October? What is it that I could do for October? I'm going to give you the name and it's do not cheat. Do not cheat. So do not look it up on, on Google. I want you know, to see if any of you recognize it. An honest, honest recognition of it. Okay? So what I have decided for October, I mean, we know that coming up in October, it's Halloween, right? Well, for us, it's also Thanksgiving on the 9th of October. But, yeah, it's main, the main focus is Halloween, right? So I was thinking, what the heck am I going to do? So, I have decided 
the theme is the houses October built. Okay? Do not cheat. Do not cheat. The odd one of you may know what it means, but do not cheat. So that means houses. Okay? Anything to do with houses. It can be a spooky house, a haunted house. It can be just a regular house, whatever. I had pulled this out. It can be one of these Victorian style houses. I'm not going to work on this one. Yeah, but this is an example. Okay. But what I will be working on is one that I had started before, and that is my pink house. Okay? So I had started this one before, earlier in the year. And let me see here if I can get this. So, if you've already got something started that has a house in it, go for it, right? So, yeah, so this is, this is mine that I had already started. Like that. This is an 11 count. Don't ask me where I got it because I can't remember. But I fell in love with this. So I thought, you know, I'm going to work on um, something that I had already started. Right? So, but it doesn't have to be like this. Okay? You can work on a birdhouse. You can work on... Um, You know, some of you have got European town. Some of you have got Victorian houses. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to be working on. Okay. Just so that I can put a month worth of stitches on there. But you all know that my... I don't think I brought it here. Everything is laying around at my feet right now. Um, that I have my um, sampler, right? And in the sampler, there are, um, what is it? Santa's Christmas Village, right? So there's all kinds of houses in there. So I could work on that as well. And try and get that done. But otherwise, my main focus is on this house. So, that is the challenge for October. It is called The Houses October Built. Do not cheat. Because <laughs> I can see you all going and looking on Google. What does that mean? What does that mean? I want honest, absolute Honest, honest, honest um, as to um, what you um, what you think of it, you know, what you think it means, okay? So, all right, now on to what happened yesterday. It rained all the way to Stonewall yesterday, and here there was nothing. <laughs> when we got home, there was nothing. So, but we went to Stonewall and I saw my doctor. So I told her about my depression and my PTSD moments, my flashbacks, my nightmares, all that kind of stuff. All the things that go with um, borderline personality disorder. Some of you may have that. So you know what I'm talking about, okay? And uh, so anyway, um, so she upped my fluoxetine, which is an antidepressant. I think it's 
Paxil. Yeah, I think it's Paxil. And I seem to be dealing really well with that. I had been up to four capsules a day, I think, or five capsules a day of it before. So she's just upping it. She's also giving me a new med because the Prazosin isn't available. So she's giving me one that's kind of in the same family, but she's not sure if it will work for nightmares or flashbacks. She's not quite sure. But if the Prazosin becomes available uh, in January or February, I want to go back on that one. And then she gave me a um, Ventolin puffer prescription too because I haven't had any for a while. So I've just been going on what I've got. My Ajovi came in yesterday, so I was happy. As soon as I got um, settled in here yesterday after bringing in the groceries and that, I went and laid on the bed and right in. It was surprisingly, this is my third time, surprisingly it went really well and it was injected. No problem. I just have a little bit of pain, but I'm getting good at the, at the jab. <laughs> so, um, and... When I got weighed there, um, their scale is two pounds up. Juliet is two pounds down. So I'm at 202. So my goal is to get to 200 or below by the end of the year. Do you think I can do it? Do you think I can do it? <laughs> I'm going to try my hardest. Absolutely. Absolutely. We also had gone after the, the doctor's appointment. We had um, uh, gone to Family Foods and I loaded up on all my vegan foods. Three bags. Just three bags. You know how much it cost me? $187. $187. I bought six blocks of vegan cheese. I bought um, three peppers. I bought my vegan cream cheese. I bought two bottles of pumpkin spice Khalifa um, coffee creamer. I bought, what else did I buy? Oh, I got some um, um, sweet potato fries. I got some nan, the small nan rounds. I, yeah, two cans of Tim Hortons soup. Um a box of cereal, Special K cereal. Um, gosh, I don't even know what else. I don't even know what else. I got some flatbread. The protein uh, flatbread. They didn't have any of the keto stuff there, so. But, yeah. $187. Oh, some frozen raspberries. They were on sale. And everything I tried to get was, was on sale. Oh, three cartons of almond milk, two of the plain, and one of the chocolate. Because I'm, I'm almost finished the chocolate milk. And then what I do, because it's really sweet, so I mix up the chocolate milk with the regular milk milk right almond milk so yeah so that was basically 
it. I I can't remember what else I got. There's probably other stuff there that I just forget. But yeah, vegan stuff. Oh, I got vegan meats. Some sausages were on sale. Some um, vegan slices were on sale. I only bought two of those. I got some pepperoni slices for my pizza. And that's basically it. That's that's basically it. Not much of anything else. Oh, I did get a few snacks. I did get um, their, like, uh, what is it, mung bean or black bean poppers or, or, you know, they're just snacks. Some bananas. Bananas were expensive, $1.29 a pound, so that was expensive. I try to get at Walmart when we go because it's only 79 cents a pound. 218 a kg, I think. Um Yeah, but I I really wanted to get that. So, but I'm really happy that my Ajovi came in. I'm really happy that um my meds are going to go up. I just hope I just don't go like that. I did make a decision that within five years, I'm going to move into the Ericsdale Villa. And that means downsize, 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 downsize. So I have to get a twin bed, like a captain's bed. Um... There's room for my sofa and my chair, a couple of other things, my TV, but my deacon's bench, Juliet will be getting because she's been begging for it. <laughs> she loves my deacon's bench. And um, I'll be able to keep a few things, but it's just a, I don't know, what what do they call it? It's... It's a bachelor suite, but what else do they call it? There's another name for it. And, um, yeah, so I'm hoping to get into one of the slightly larger suites. But it's got a kitchenette. It's like a full-size fridge, full-size stove. Um, single sink. Um, not much storage. I don't know yet what I would do with... Susie or Rosie because probably by that time I won't have Susie and um, yeah I don't I don't I don't know I I don't know but by that time Lily Bell will be gone and Jonah, so I might only just have Sydney left. And that's going to be a holy tear. So, anyway, um, please remember that it for October, the challenge is the houses October built. Okay, that's the theme. And I would like to thank outdoor tide for sponsoring this video their discount code is interlac 5 o f f in capital letters all one word so please go and check them out i still don't know why my numbers are dropping on youtube i don't know what's happening i don't know if it's I just don't know. Please check to make sure you're subscribed. Something odd is going on because I don't drop. I'll drop one, maybe. But I've dropped six since yesterday. Like, that's just... There's something else going on. And the five that actually dropped yesterday, like, dropped within an hour or so. 
And then I dropped one this morning and I can't understand it. So please check to make sure you're subscribed. So thank you again, Outdoor Tide. Um, I'm looking forward to working with you again. I really, really appreciate that you chose my channel to work with. So, yeah. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you and so do I. And so does Miss Twinkle Toes yourself, Miss Lily Bell and Jonah. Sydney's outside and it looks like it's raining. I think looks like it's raining. Mike is supposed to be coming on Monday. Fingers crossed. Apparently other people are having trouble with him showing up. We're not sure. But yeah. Yeah, it's, um, so we'll just kind of wait and see. So, thank you, Jesus, for being my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me from my sins. Thank you for being there in my darkest and deepest moments. Thank you for loving me like you do. Thank you for caring enough for me that you would uh, die on the cross for me so that my sins would be forgiven. And that's a prayer I pray for all of you as well. So thank you again for watching my videos. Thank you for your like, share, subscribe, and comments. Thank you for just everything for being there for me. Just for all the blessings that you have sent my way. For everything for everything. I am so appreciative. And please go and check out Outdoor Tide. So, alrighty. I guess that's it. We'll see you tomorrow. Toodle-oodles!